Hello everyone, Jai Hind. Welcome back to my channel. Friends, today in this video, we will explore the steps to get into Ediface as a QA automation engineer. Also, I'll provide tips for success in this video. So, Ediface is a leading provider of software testing solutions. Ediface is also known for its innovative approach to software testing. To get into Ediface, you need to follow mainly five points. The first one is development of technical skills. You need to enhance your proficiency in programming languages like Java, Python, C has and more. The second point is to build a strong portfolio. You need to showcase your skills and experience through projects, case studies and certifications. Also, the third point is to build a network and connections. You need to engage with industry professionals, join professional organizations and attend networking events to expand your network. Also, the fourth point is tailoring your resume. You need to customize your resume to highlight relevant skills and experiences for job applications. The fifth one is to prepare for interviews. You need to practice common interview questions, case studies and technical assessments to showcase your ability. Now I'll focus on tips for success. So the first point is to stay updated with the latest technologies and industry trends to enhance your skills. The second one is to develop strong written and verbal communication skills to convey complex ideas to stakeholders. The third one is to work effectively in cross-functional teams and share knowledge and contribute to a positive team culture. The fourth one is focus on automation testing tools and frameworks to streamline testing processes. And the fifth one is to actively seek feedback from colleagues and mentors to improve yourself. Talking about the interviews, rounds and preparation for getting a job as a QA automation engineer and edifice. So basically there are five rounds. The first one is written rest. In this round, it consists four sections, aptitude, reasoning, technical and coding. Aptitude means operating system, DBSM, SQL and all. And it has sectional cutoff. The second one is technical interview. Questions cover topics like your projects, programming languages like C has or like uh, C++, Java, OOPS concept, threads, programming, database connectivity. The third point is communication skills assessment which includes listening to an audio and answering MCQ questions based on it as well as recording video responses to situation based questions. The fourth one is managerial round which focuses on behavioral question achievements and situational questions. The fifth and last one is HR round which consists of standard HR questions and discussion about your CTC and company policies. Talking about preparation tips, you need to master programming languages and automation tools like Java, Python with Selenium, etc. Practice writing code and creating automated te test scripts. The second is to gain experience through personal projects, through open source contributions or and setting up an like uh, automation testing environment. The third one is to get familiarize yourself with test automation frameworks like JUnit, TestNG, Cucumber, etc. The fourth one is to practice technical questions on topics like software testing concepts, programming, databases and problem solving. The fifth one is to improve communication and problem solving skills through mock interviews. Use the STAR method for behavioral questions. The sixth one is to research the company, its products and the industry to demonstrate your interest and fit for the role. The seventh one is to prepare throughout full questions to ask the interviewer about the role and the company. As a conclusion, becoming a successful QA automation engineer at Ediface requires a combination of technical skills, 
educational qualifications and a passion for innovation. By following the steps outlined in this video, you will increase your chances of success. Thank you for watching the video and if you found this video helpful, then please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more career related content. Stay tuned for more informative videos in the future. I have already mentioned Edifex career URL in the description box. You can also visit there to learn more about Edifex and look for some uh, job openings related to your skills and experiences. If you have any query regarding QA Automation Engineer, interview questions, Edifex or any other queries related to your job, then you can comment your queries in the below comment box. I'll make sure to answer to your queries. Thank you. Thank you all.